hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel quinn here and today i am planning for the week of april 29th through may 5th in my a5 wide disbound planner with sadie stickers inserts i'll be using this sadie stickers mystery kit um the february 2024 mystery kit and it came with this own foil sampler um so for this video i will kind of talk about the stickers and then i will also be talking about um what happened with baby boy um like long awaited um so i've been so procrastinating on it as well but i keep saying i'm gonna do it on this video or i'll do it on that video but now it's just time to go ahead and talk about it i was gonna wait into the week of that you know playing with me but i will go ahead and speak about it now because it just might save someone or it might save a child so um anywho i put down my bottom washi and now i'm just putting in my headers for my garlands and um the rest of the date cover area um i use the garlands that was on this gathered layers and panda bird design um sampler and i'm gonna ask her to see if she can uh do just garlands by themselves because i still like putting in beautiful garlands and i don't see them a lot so i just um cut them off of here um and then i still have the little tacos to use if i want to use them in another spread also for my date cover area i added in the washi floral kiss cut trim from the kit and I also pulled in some of the trail butterflies from the sampler sheet. And here you'll see me cut down the floral because it was a little bit too long. Or I didn't go like the full length because I still wanted to kind of... I didn't know if I wanted to do like a, a monthly area. But I ended up putting the month in the sidebar. So it all worked out. It all put pulled together very nicely. So now I'm just adding in some individual pieces of florals. I always appreciate when there's like individual pieces of florals. And here I'm adding in those butterfly trails. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I will go ahead and speak a little bit on what happened. So um, baby boy started having some nausea and vomiting at the daycare. And I have been picking him up. For this for about mm, I'll say two weeks like it started happening in May and I was like okay maybe he's just sick maybe he just ate something bad like my mama my mama instincts didn't go off at all because he you know he doesn't he's really picky with what he eats so sometimes he'll eat something and then I don't know if he thinks about it later what he ate or either the texture of what he ate and he'll it'll come back up so i was like okay maybe he just had something he didn't like you know um whatever whatever so um the following week he ended up going back to daycare he had a pretty good week you know everything was good until about friday and it happened again so that friday um i had to pick him up again and i just watched him you know see how he was doing and everything um also wanted to mention that i am using date dots from jk creates co you can use my code quinn 20 to save on her shop um and then i'm pulling in my lace trims under the header area um so yeah on friday i had to pick him up again for the same reason and this week this week was the week that we had planned on going to disney i had created like a disney spread in my hobonichi weeks and everything and we planned on going to disney so that friday i was watching him and you know me and babe were like well maybe we won't maybe we won't be able to go to disney um so you know i watched him and with baby boy he knows how to like um, hide his pain or hide the fact that he's sick. 
So when I was looking at him, Mm -hmm. he would straighten up. Like he wouldn't act like he was in pain. So I kind of had to catch him off guard, but I didn't catch it yet. So on that Friday, I watched him. He was still looking like he was doing fine. He was on the couch. He wanted to go outside on the trampoline. And he was watching, you know, his phone. Like he was watching YouTube. Like he was fine. So that Saturday, I ended up waking up. Um, We made, or I made sandwiches and got everything ready to go for Disney. uh, Stroller, everything. We got everything ready to go. And uh, we got to Disney. He actually had a good time at Disney. Um, He was not complaining. But like I said, he knows how to like mask his pain. And his pain tolerance is really high. Um, his pain tolerance is high. Um, and I think that goes with, you know, having hypertension or ADHD. Um, from what I've known from my two brothers, from me, my, my, um, my oldest son, my husband with ADHD, the pain tolerance is a little bit more, uh, manageable I don't know how to say it but their tolerance is like really good and that can be a good thing or that can be a bad thing and in this instance it was a bad thing so we went to Disney we walked around he did have some times where he was in the stroller with baby girl but he was playing with his bubbles he ate a little bit of my sandwich So he was eating, he was drinking, he was playing around, um, he still was having, you know, he was still himself. So I was like, okay, maybe he, again, ate something that was, that was bad. So because he had a good time over the weekend, I was like, okay, he'll be good to go back to school the following, um, following day or like this was summer so they were out for summer but he was going he was still going to daycare full time so I figured he would be good to go to daycare and let me also say this we ended up canceling our Disney um annual passes because this was our second time not having the best experience at the most amazing place in the world um, because of the accommodations or the accommodations that they don't have for people with disabilities, um, whether that be, you know, the ADHD as a disability or um, mobility as disability. So we did not have a good experience twice in a row. So we ended up canceling the passing the passes. So um, let's see, what do I want to talk about? Sidebar, my doll is from Taylor Made Creative. You can use code QUEEN15 to save on all of her beautiful items, her beautiful fashion dolls and kits and all the things. I use, um, the letters from Paper Trail Plans in my, uh, sidebar as well. And then I use the washi trims that were on the sampler to line my sidebar as well. And then I just pulled in some deco from the journaling kit and the larger foiled florals that you see behind the larger florals are from the Pretty Pink Co. And then I'm adding in my full boxes and the vintage um, foiled corners or torn corners are from Panda Bird Design. I really, really love those. Um, So back to what I was saying, because he had a good weekend and there wasn't any complaints he did not have anything come up so I said he was fine and then I again thought it was okay he must be eating something that is upsetting his stomach at the daycare so um I tried to see if I can get like the menu from the daycare like I was trying to do all of the things So I think, I don't know, I think it was that Monday when they went back again, he ended up doing the same thing and I ended up having to pick him up. And um, since I stay at home, we stayed at home together and, you know, I just watched. I um, was doing a plan with me and um, baby boy, he's affectionate anyways, 
But if he has his gadget and stuff like that, he's normally okay to be like sitting down on the couch, you know, while I'm planning. But this day he wanted to lay on the floor um, in my planning room with me. And that was like, okay, red flag number one. So even though there was that red flag, he still was his energetic self. And I just felt like that was that hypertension just trying to push through the fact that he was in pain and needed to you know really rest but he wanted to go outside and jump on the trampoline he wanted to jump on the trampoline with me and I was like you know that's weird because he knows I can't jump on the trampoline so I said okay I'll go on the trampoline with you but I just sat down on the trampoline and he was literally you know jumping on the trampoline having a good time he was playing with the ball and after he was finished we went back inside and I'm still keeping an eye keeping an eye on him because like I said he will pretend like everything is fine he will mask his pain so I'm looking at him I'm cleaning you know I'm pretending like I'm washing the dishes I'm washing the dishes but I'm really washing the dishes so that I can be in the living room and watch what watch what he's doing. Even though, um, you know, I was planning. I ended up stopping uh, my plans on that Wednesday that I had pre-planned in my Hobonichi cousin. It was the week that I did um, the book theme in my Hobonichi cousin. It was the brown, um, a brown spread. So I ended up stopping on that plan with me. So. I watched him and I watched him and I saw that he was hunched over, you know, and I'm like, okay, he's hunched over. But when I would look at him, he would like try to sit up. So I'm like, okay, he is in some kind of pain. So now I'm like kind of on alert. So I'm watching him. He does it again where he, um, he is hunched over. It looks like he's hunched over in pain and I ask him if he's okay and he'll like jump up as if he's fine. And then I said, okay, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go get on the swing outside, you know, a little, just like a regular swing, a sitting swing. So we go outside and we sit down and um, he stays inside. He And I just go outside for a little bit. I eat my food and then I come right back in. He's, you know, watching his a tablet on the couch so I peek in at him because I wanted him to be like at whatever state that he was going to be in and then I come in and catch him in whatever state he was going to be in so I kind of left him for good reason so I could see you know exactly what he was going on um for Monday I'm marking coffee Monday I am also marking that I had to make like um what was it? I think I had something, some some notes to write for the school. I also watched Hulu this day and I did some editing. I probably go back and correct that if I'm wrong because I don't have my notebook in front of me. And I kind of said I was going to just speak about <laughs> the, the things that happened with baby boy. But I have to kind of fill in the gaps because I don't want it to be like so much um time left over after i'm finished saying all of the things so let me grab my other planner really quick this was april 29th april 29th into may okay here we are so, yeah, I ended up having to um, schedule an appointment for baby girl. Um, I called um, pain management. And then the things that I was binge watching was on Paramounts Plus. I watched the tracker SWAT in the Equalizer um, with um, Queen Latifah. And then I bought my first Planner Bash ticket. That's what the planner there is for. I was so excited and so happy that I finally bought my first planner bash ticket because that means that I, you know, I, I committed to it and, you know, I have to find a way to finally get to my first planner event. So, anywho, back to the story. Um, um, After seeing him, you know, hunched over, I asked him, I said, are you okay? 
you know, or, you know, are you in pain? Does your stomach hurt? And he said, yes, his stomach hurts. And I was already aware that his stomach could possibly be hurting because, um, you know, he was having the issue with the daycare and I kept having to pick him up. And then, um, you know, it just kept happening again. So something was up with his stomach. I knew that. And he does not really like doctors. And I said, do you need to go to the hospital? And you're probably like, why are you asking a child if he wants to go to the hospital? I'm asking him if he wants to go to the hospital because he doesn't like doctors. And if he tells me he needs to go to the hospital where he knows doctors are, that lets me know something is really wrong he's really in pain and you know what I'm seeing is like kind of urgent you know so I asked him again I'm like I said are you okay are you in pain and you know I asked him where his stomach was hurting and he would put his hand right over his belly button right over his belly button I'm like okay your stomach is you know up here normally like if I say oh my stomach hurt I kind of put my hand right under my rib right under my rib rib cage but he was putting his stomach right where his um belly button was where your intestines are and all of those things so I was like okay so <clears throat> we finally ended up going to the hospital the other two kiddos were at daycare and we ended up going to the hospital and I really really like think about like if I was a single parent you know who would have been able to be there to pick up my other kiddos I have other I have other means I would have had other means to get them but just having babe there to go grab them was just it eased me it eased my mind it eased my heart it eased everything that from what I was seeing at the hospital so let's get to the hospital we get to the hospital they check him blood pressure blah blah blah. they check everything and um I let them know what's going on his blood pressure I think his blood pressure was a little high but overall you know they see a smiling boy so they think he's okay and I really don't I really think they shouldn't go based off you know a child is smiling so they're okay they should have another way to kind of see why the child is in pain because it's kind of like I'm not calling him a dog or anything but like with anything when you take it to go get fixed or when you take a dog to the hospital they act like everything is okay when you take your car to go get fixed, that little squeaky noise that it was making before, and you try to show the mechanic, all of a sudden, the squeaky noise is gone. Like, comment down below if that is what happens with you. Like, you try to show somebody something, and all of a sudden, it's gone. Um, so, on Tuesday, I edited and uploaded. I had some planner time. My to-dos were to clean, laundry, tidy up outside. Um, more editing. I needed to film a rail for an Instagram post, which I did post. And um, I started on my summer blanket as well, which I didn't put all of those things, but that's what I wrote in my Hobonichi cousin. So we're at the hospital, we're waiting, and he says he's thirsty, so I get him something to drink. He drinks it, and you know, if he's eating and he's drinking, I'm like, okay, he should be fine. Um, so he eats, he drinks, um, and then we just wait and he's watching the iPad. So we finally get called back. We finally get called back and get him changed and, um, they get his, what did they do? They, um, got all his vitals, hooked him up to the machine and they had a portable x-ray technician person come in which I was so happy and so glad that they brought in a portable x-ray machine because I was able to see what was going on firsthand and that could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing 
for me, it was kind of both, but I was able to maintain myself. Um, so I saw what I, I saw what was going on and I was completely shocked. I was completely baffled by what I saw. I'll probably put a picture of what was going on here. But yes, I was completely baffled by what was going on. And yeah, I took a picture of it with my phone and I just started sending messages to family members to pray and, you know, that's just the main thing just pray because i didn't know what was going to happen from there on out um but what i saw on the x-ray to me it looked like it was a metal bracelet and i also thought it was a metal bracelet because of the emergency doctor that was there he was like it looks like a break it looks like a bracelet so when he said that, I was like, oh, yeah, it's probably a bracelet, either something that they made at the daycare or something that he found. And he was um, he put it in his mouth and he started choking. And there's only one thing you can do. You can either cough it up or you have to have to swallow it to be able to, you know, get yourself breathing again. So with that being said, it looks like he took the the swallowing method and, you know, it was it was swallowed and it was literally a circle around his belly button, as you saw. And we asked him where the pain was or where his stomach was hurting at. And he put his hand, you know, right over his belly button where it was showing there. Um, And I did it. It didn't click in my mind that it was anything else because the doctor at the hospital was saying that it was a bracelet at first. And then he came back in a little bit later and he was like, if it's a bracelet, um, you know, it should be fine. He'll be able to pass it, whatever, whatever. And then he said, if it's a magnet, they're going to have to open him up and they're going to have to get it out. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, it can't be a magnet. It has to be a bracelet. But then I remember... Well, I still, I didn't remember until like later on, but I bought, um, my son magnets for Christmas twice. I bought him a large set of magnets and I bought him a small set of magnets. And the reason why I didn't think it was magnets is because the way it was shaped and because it had like a large piece and then it had a couple of small pieces. So I thought the bracelet had a charm on it. So we ended up having to go to a children's hospital. I ended up taking him myself instead of waiting for an ambulance. That would have been an hour and 30 minutes long. So, um, see the little guinea pig there. Um, so I ended up taking him to the children's hospital myself. And we saw a gastro doctor. The doctor told us, let's see if it will pass. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, this has been going on since... Mondays ago and if it hasn't passed by now it's not gonna pass but we still had to wait they tried to push Miralax and then they pushed Miralax some more and it just did not move they did two additional x-ray and it was still sitting in the same spot so what happened is he had been swallowing these little small magnets over a course of time I know it's zoomed in on the x-ray but these magnets are really really small they're easy to swallow and you can't really tell if the child has something in their mouth because it's so small. You might think it's like a piece of candy, you know? So that is what I was kind of dealing with when I got to the other hospital. Trying to see if he was going to pass what we thought so was we went a bracelet. on Wednesday and they didn't attempt to get the... um magnets out until the 7th because everyone was under the impression that it was a bracelet even the um the surgeon that did it and she's like she kind of felt that it was going to be magnets because she had she dealt with a case like this before so um they finally took him to surgery after you know he was hunched over I felt so I just felt like I couldn't help it, help him. I felt helpless. Like I was rubbing his stomach, doing all that I could do, like to try to get the gas out because basically everything was backing up. By Thursday, by, by Friday, everything was backing up. So imagine having to go to the bathroom or having to pass 
gas and you can't his bowels are not moving his bowels are all clogged up because he was swallowing these magnets over a course of time what happened is so say for instance he swallows one magnet today okay that's cool if he swallows one magnet and then that magnet gets pushed through the intestines and then he will swallow okay let's swallow two magnets today and then he will swallow two magnets and then the stomach would release the magnets into the um intestines and then that that magnet would be like somewhere further in the intestine and then you have a magnet that's shorter in the intestines and then those two magnets would find each other and they would snap together and then it would keep happening he would swallow one and it would snap together and then he would swallow three and then it would go down around and then it would find each other and snap together so that kept happening um when we caught it on friday by the time they took it out from um on friday the 7th is when he had the surgery in june when they finally took the magnets out they counted over 30 magnets and because the magnets were snapping together in his intestines they basically burned a hole in his intestines thankfully i'm thankful that the magnets were small but even though they were small they still caused damage but i'm i'm, try I'm imagining if he would have swallowed the flat magnets that were a little bit bigger it would have burnt a bigger hole so he had 30 magnets in his intestines and she removed those um and she also had to repair his intestines itself six of the magnets snapped together um one on one side of the intestine one on another side of the intestine which means there were 12 holes in his intestines that she had to go through and repair we were happy that she did not have to cut cut any of them out like i'm we are happy that he didn't have to lose any of his intestines and yeah um so i was so happy um that she was able to get them out with no real issues the surgery was about an hour and 30 minutes and he was out they put a drain in his nose to get any of the bowel out of his stomach to make sure you know he didn't get infection stuff like that they put no nose on his arm so that he couldn't pull the tubes out of his nose and his pain was managed well everything was good the only thing that i did not like and you know it happens the only thing i did not like is um he had to get his iv changed and i told the the iv tech i said can you please put some cold spray on his arm because you know it'll be so much better just like when he first got there they put cold spray on his arm they put it in he didn't even know that know that it happened until after it happened the person came in they sprayed the cold spray they not they did not wait any time before going in to stick the needle into his arm i had to hold him down and uh a guy the a male nurse had to hold him down and my son baby boy he is super strong and they had to hold him down but if they would have let the cold spray do what it need to do it would have been so much better and he ended up having to stick him twice and it just made it so much worse and i i know he was going to be in pain after that because he was screaming and he was you know fighting you know and you know he just had just had that surgery done on his stomach and every time he would scream um his veins would clamp down so eventually they ended up getting it because they still had to give him some antibiotics through his IV. So I'm thankful that they were able to get it done even though it wasn't done in the in the best way. I'm happy that it was it was done. So um all in all the surgery went well. We ended up going home that Monday, June 10th. Um and he did one week of summer school he was supposed to do um did he do two i think he did two weeks he was supposed to do four weeks of summer school but 
you know, things happened. So he did not go. So um, Monday, I put hello May. I post on socials. My to do's were check my emails, film, and I need to get out into the sun and enjoy the day. On Thursday, I crocheted, did laundry. Um, I had an Amazon order come in. And I turned on some bubbles for the kiddos. And I did some gardening things. On Friday, I made some chicken salad. Baby girl stayed home with me because she was sick. Um, I ended up watching Chicago Med and did a grocery run. And then I had a self-care shower that night. On Saturday, um, I almost got lost getting to the birthday party for Miss Emma, which is my baby boy's best friend. So um, I marked that. And then I also did um, the kiddos' hair. I did both hair, both of their heads this day. And then I kind of lounged around after that in my PJs. On Sunday, um, baby boy stayed home with me um, until later where we went to my aunt's house. My son and his dad, they went to the beach. And then we had some smoothies or shakes from Steak and Shake. And we watched a movie at my aunt's house this day so yeah that is the story of what happened and let me also say this i don't know if there is a way it a uh, way you all can go on amazon and put like a negative re review for magnets um the surgeon told me that they have been trying to get those magnets banned for a while uh, what I see happening is one seller will stop selling them. Like, I tried to go find my old um, order. I found my old order, but when I clicked on it to go, f um, you know, back to the link, it was blank. So, yeah, they're trying to boycott the magnets because they see this a lot. There was also a case where someone actually was unalived. Um, because of it, so I am very thankful and very blessed. I'm also so it. grateful to have my friend Leah keep my mind at bay because oh my gosh, I was so worried and I had a thousand questions. I didn't know exactly how things were gonna go. It was just oh my gosh, my mind was everywhere. My anxiety was on like ten. It was on like a hundred. It was on. You know, it was on a lot, you know. And I was crying, like, in the first emergency room. I was crying because I was looking at baby boy. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. He just does not know how serious this is. And when we were talking to him about it, you know, he was smiling. And even the nurses were smiling, you know. And I'm like, no. We only put food and drink in our mouth. And this is not funny. This is not funny. So yeah, I had to stop him from laughing and, you know, even kind of correct the nurses like, hey, <laughs> this is not funny. This is not funny. So yeah, that was that story. Um, I kind of had to pause. I don't know where I stopped at, but. I'm adding in the rest of those foil pieces in my where my disbound area is, and I love that. I have some bows to use in my coquette, coquette kit, and I cannot wait for that. But I hope you all enjoyed the spread. Here is a wiggle for you all. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can also head over to Instagram and follow me at the crafty one with two E's and show this post some love. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.